Hello everybody, my name is Chris Neves, and I just want to say a couple years ago, I, I'm sorry you get paranoid when you uh, look at yourself through a phone, I just want to say a couple years ago, I, I, um, you know, branched off from my family. My parents, who are my grandparents in every sense of the word, and um, I, I had in the mix, I was doing a lot of physical therapy, rehab, and I was actually in the mix of operations, and from the hospital, they put me in rehab, which was set in a nursing home, so I devised a plan to get away from my house and the government so the government can give me an apartment because I was told that, which is um, not ethically correct, that if you're living in a house, whether that house is yours or not, they will not give you a house of your own to let you be in, independent. Cruel and stupid, yes. Smart, maybe, but it doesn't make it right. Um, in the meanwhile, I got screwed over by even organizations that I work with today. And it took a very long time to get my place. And I just want to say that, you know... Um, I even lost a couple places where they got my hopes up and told me, you're getting the place only for like an hour later to tell me I lost it or 20 minutes later to, to tell me they failed to realize that I lost the place. There was one place at one point that was by the Staten Island Mall and... Um, I loved it. It had a terrace. It had multiple rooms. My living space was better. And um, they dropped the ball and gave it to somebody else. There's this kid named Timmy that I knew from CSI that um, he worked there. He was a student. He, he really didn't like it. And he just became a worker bringing papers back and forth the kid uses an electric wheelchair his mom actually called my ward and these are things that should be confidential nobody should know your business because me and her son really wasn't that close so she called me and um the nurse couldn't even tell me who it was and then she revealed herself and she was kind of pressuring me to um, become his roommate. And my aunt, who's my legal guardian, told me, you don't want to do that because then your aide is there, his aide is there. You're not going to have enough space. And you don't know if somebody's going to steal your shit. So, you know. But then there was Irby. This, right before my birthday, Three days before my birthday, December 6th, Nicole calls me, Nicole from PCCS, Person Center Care Services, and says to me, happy birthday, we got your lease. So the whole crew, from they wanted to make sure my ass was out of there, which they were trying to keep me in there for money purposes and for the fact that I don't walk which was fucked up, the nursing home. Um, so, they we brought therapists. We brought the supervisor therapist. And the driver was one of the, the um, plan up maintenance guys, which was a good friend of mine. And he actually reminded me of my um, apartment number because I had forgotten, and um, he had told me 
Remember, you have a nice view over there of the Verrazano and uh, Statue of Liberty, Lady Liberty. So, then came Irby. So, you have a gym here, you have hangout places, you have a, a um, cafe with snacks. Of course, you got to pay. Um, the restaurants, stores, and now, you know, we got a bunch of restaurants. Since I've been here, they closed a couple. I've been here four years. Um, there was an arcade, um, um, what they call that place, um, Gringo's. A couple of restaurants been closed right now. We have a pizzeria right off the corner, right next door. And, um, across the street where Gringo's was, there's Edgar's Ice Cream. So, the only thing is, what I really love to do is the pool. And unfortunately, we have a third party that the lifeguards are very lazy. Yeah, granted, they're young and people say they're kids or whatever, but there's a company behind that. They don't teach these guys. There's a electronic chair that lets me into the water. They never hardly charge the chair. Sometimes we gotta wait till they charge it or they just tell us no, it's not working and we gotta go upstairs in disappointment. But, um, last year the chair finally really did break and, um, a lot of times I swear the, the, um, the lifeguards when they see somebody like me coming, even though I have a, a personal home health aid, it's like they like, oh shit, I actually got to get up from my seat. And then one of the, um, the management office right now, there's a real cool girl, Tiffany, she's cool. She's very nice. Um, but there's always been at least one or two nice people in the management office. There's about a group of ten in there, if I'm not sure, seven to ten people. But they're not all nice. And, um, I thought because I came through a disability organization that I would have been treated better by the management. No, I recommend, I love Irby, I want to stay here. For as long as God allows me to. But I'm just talking about the type of people that they hire. One of the management people told me it's not a, it's not her problem. It's a third party. But wait a minute. You're collecting the money for the IDs. You're collecting the money for the guest pass. It's alright to do that. But it's not alright for me to get the pool. Like, you know, I know... I can't get up and run and walk, but this I could do. And, you know, make me feel like the majority, not the minority. I'm not even the minority. I'm scraped to the bottom of the barrel. You know, it's bad enough you threaten people, God forbid. Um, you know, um, this particular girl, not Tiffany, this particular girl, you know, God forbid there's a computer error on my ledger uh, to pay the bill. She'll embarrass me in front of people. She'll make me look like the most ghettoist person. And it's like, you already knew that I was coming from an organization that deals with disabled people. Why would you behave like that? And, and you know, there was a, a couple other ones, Putin, a bunch of them. And that they have passive aggressive, that fake, uh, um, Stepford wife, wanna be smile, but in between the teeth, they're telling you, screw you. So it's like, make pools for everybody, and access for everybody, and every condition, and make sure that there's help, and manpower, and, and mechanical power. To get it done. I don't care how. I don't care what disability. But. For everybody. To enjoy. Because this is life. And there's all different walks of life. 
and just please make everybody feel welcome and happy. Peace. I love Herbie. Has nothing to do with Herbie, but has something to do with Herbie and the way the people handle the situation.